Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast I want to give you a quick impression of the features that the NetBeans plugin for Wicket provides for Maven projects. So first of all I've registered my update center. This points to an XML file that is found in my blog. However, inside the XML file the pointers to the NBM files point to a location on Java.net. I just haven't figured out how to upload the update center onto java.net and use it from there. Somehow there's a problem on java.net preventing you from doing that. So I've put the update center in my blog. Um, inside the update center are registered uh, three NBM files. So if you then click in the available plugins tab on reload catalog, you will then see your three um, wicket um, modules, which you can then install. And once installed, as I have already done, you will see three modules, Wicked Core, Wicked File Templates and Wicked Libraries 1.5.3. Importantly, Wicked Core should be at version 0 0.23, which is um, the module version providing the Maven support. And secondly, there are some file templates which have been there from the beginning, um, pretty much unchanged. And finally, there's Wicked Libraries 1.5.3, which is the latest version of Wicked. Um, those jars are wrapped inside this module and when you install this module into the IDE the related libraries will be in the library manager. Okay, so we could create a standard ant-based Java application and use Wicket there um, and there is support for that but this time we're only going to look at the Maven support so we go to Maven and then web application we could also go to project from archetype um, if you do that um, you will be able to, um, in the um, list of archetypes um, from remote repositories, find the official Wicked Quick Start and use that. But um, then you will not have access to all the various features that the NetBeans plugin for Wicked provides. So for that reason, you would go to Maven and then to Web Application. You would then click Next and give some name to your project, such as Hello Wicked in NetBeans and then click Next, um, specify some servers, I have several um, and at the moment since I don't know exactly how Wicked works with Java EE6 without a web XML file you can only select Java EE5 um, for this plugin to work. I need to figure out how um, Wicked works with Java EE6 without a web XML file and then we will have Java EE6 support on this plugin. Right now what you see is a standard Maven project, nothing special. Um, so let's add our Wicked support. To do that, right click on the project and go all the way down to properties, which you can't see, but it's at the end of that list. And you'll see the frameworks tab showing no frameworks. You can then choose Wicked and say OK. And now you have the Wicked 1.5.3 version selected. Um, any library in the library manager starting with the name Wicket will automatically be listed here. Um, by default you only get Wicket 1.5.3 which is what the plugin provides. Um, click OK and then um, you will see the dependencies added. Um, so if you haven't got them downloaded yet they'll be downloaded for you. I'll show you how that's set up. Um, if you look um, the important dependency is Wicket extensions which um, pulls in the other wicked jars. So those other wicked jars aren't specified because they are transitive dependencies of wicked extensions. Um, in addition, what we have are um, Java classes and we have HTML files. Now, the wicked features um, specific to Wicked plugin, to, to the Wicked plugin for, for Maven as well as for Ant-based projects. If I open an HTML file, you'll see that also the Java side automatically opens with it. So these two open together. Um, in addition, what you'll find is that you can right-click inside a Java file and say navigate and then go to Wicked HTML side. And in the same way, inside of an HTML file, you can say um, navigate and go to Wicked Java side. In addition, when you're inside an HTML file which has a Java um, a matching Java partner, you can hold down the control key and let's find an example. 
hold on the control key and um, move your mouse over a uh, wicket identifier and then you will switch to the other side um, uh, to the Java side it doesn't yet go right down to the actual ID itself but at least it makes that switch to the other side in addition in the navigator um, when you have one of the HTML files selected you can see this wicket tags which shows you all the tags that are found inside uh, an HTML file and ultimately you'll be able to click on those tags and jump inside of the um, related file uh, right into the identifier which at the moment isn't supported yet also what you'll find is that there are some um, wicket uh, items in the palette that you can use and so you can drag one of these and drop so let's do that if we are inside of our home page and we um, let's remove this for example for the moment and we switch to the other side and we remove this label um, if we say drag this Ajax text input so it simply drops on this this side on the other side you get a whole bunch of Java code because um, Wicket has a component library for supporting Ajax so you don't need to use JavaScript at all so here you see a, a getter get auto complete text field um, with the ID countries on the other side you have this ID countries as well so from here we can switch to the other side so these two sides are linked together and in this case you can see that we go through the locales and we get the countries and we display these inside this um, component so we will add a text country and here we go so let's actually deploy this application now so when we deploy the application what will also be interesting to see is how you can make a change in your uh, wicket application and save your change and then immediately the application will be redeployed so you will not need to redeploy the application once you've made changes okay we switch now to um, so here you can see we have our URL let's make this a bit wider wicket okay so here we can type a country but um, this is uh, Ajax component so there is auto completion done here we type some text and you can see that automatically the text narrows um, type something different and then you can actually click with your mouse on the item that you want to select and so here you have the auto component auto complete component working so let's imagine we want this to be countries instead we save and once you've saved the application is redeployed and you can see here we have countries displayed here okay so that was a very quick overview to show you um, some of the features or actually all of the features that you have when you create wicked maven based applications in NetBeans IDE using the new wicked NetBeans plugin thank you and have fun with it <laughs>